So I am up, got the bed made up once again, well, twice within the past five hours. I think it's like eight o'clock. I'm gonna get the trash handled whenever I get ready to take off. But uh, y'all know, truck stay clean. We getting ready to head to get this shower. I done checked in already. I think I got like eight minutes to get there. So we good. Two minutes just to get there. Let's see if I remember the pen. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, what is up, Slime Pat Pat Nation? Today is a beautiful day, y'all. It's not. It's not cold. It's not hot. It's like it's right there in the midst of cool like you could wear long sleeves or you could wear short sleeves you could get get away with any one of those y'all the weather is good i'm currently parked at a loves here in georgia and we're going to explain that in a second but um how y'all doing how's y'all how's y'all mental you know how as soon as i get the recording i ain't even gonna cut that but anyway what was i saying how's y'all mental how's life going for y'all um so far things have been pretty good for me you know of course we still have our our own battles that we have to face but so far i've been you know knocking those battles down and i've been growing and progressing not just in trucking stuff but in my personal life and other stuff that i got going on but today y'all we got a pretty good video. I be seeing in the comment section, people be like, um, you don't really go into detail, like not specifically about the load, but like with what I'm doing, like a lot of people don't know that fuel is supposed to go in the reefer trailer. Now there are two different trailers. Like there's a dry van and then you got a reefer. The reason I have to put fuel in my trailer is because it's a refrigerated trailer. The only way for the refrigerated part to run is it takes fuel to run it. The, it don't run off electrical. It do, it do run with electrical, but it takes fuel to keep it running, to keep that product cold. Now, a dry van is the one, I'm gonna show y'all whenever I get out and explain more of that. But like I was saying, people be wanting me to go more into detail why I'm doing this, explain what this for, what this do, like my channel, I try not to make my channel like a how-to or why should you because I don't know I don't feel like I'm I have enough experience to do that now there are things that I help people out with like in real life like okay you need help with this okay well I know if you do it like this then you know it could work like that you know I don't want to get on the internet and tell y'all something tell y'all do it this way and then you find out oh no that's wrong and then it's gonna be other people in the comment section saying, no, do it this way, do it that way. That's why I never do my full pre-trip on camera. I just, you know, skim through, just show y'all a little quick something, and then I go in with a, a good thorough pre-trip. Because it's gonna always be somebody in that comment section saying, no, that's wrong, do this. Why you do that? Why you didn't do this, you know? So, so to save all of that, I try to keep my videos more about my journey more about my growth and still show y'all a little insight on the trucking business but let's talk about the trucking business side um my last video which was my last load i delivered in florida lakeland florida at the Publix. i know y'all remember me saying long as my dispatcher in he gonna load me probably somewhere in georgia but if it was the weekend dispatcher or nighttime dispatcher they were going to send me further down in Florida. So I got faith in my dispatcher. I asked them for a pre-plan before I actually delivered that Publix load. So I had a pre-plan before I even delivered that load. Like, I think I had a pre-plan like 12 hours before I delivered that load. So the load that we have today is picking up here in Macon, Georgia. That's where I'm parked at. Literally like maybe 0.3 miles down the road at the Tyson. It's a dropping hook and it's a two-stop load after the pickup 
So first we're gonna be dropping off in Lawrenceville, Georgia, and then Forest Park, Georgia. I haven't been to either one of those spots. I done did my research on one of these places. They say you got a blind side back. There's no room to turn around. Some people say they they start backing in from the road into the driveway. So we'll figure it out whenever we get over there. We're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to enjoy our time right now and figure that out when we get over there. And this load was more empty miles than loaded miles. So this load was a total well, it is a total of 512 miles loaded is 139 empty was 373 and the load is paying $1,042. I said, you know, that's pretty good. And then plus I'm saving because I'm empty. I ain't got my engine ain't doing no extra pulling the trailer empty and it's flat land. Even though the low has got a little weight in between it, you know, that was the, I felt like that was the best thing that I was going to get coming out of Florida. So I accepted it immediately. And the low, it ain't even heavy that I'm picking up. It says it's only like 29,000 pounds. The only thing that I don't like is just so much. It's like a big gap in between the, uh, this pickup because I, dropped the last load off on well i left Publix at tuesday morning currently it is wednesday morning and the load don't deliver this load don't deliver until tomorrow y'all get what i'm saying like i could have got this load yesterday and delivered this load today so it's like it's been like a bit of a gap in between loads but they still been paying good it's just that that time frame like I could deliver this load in one day in one shift and still have enough hours left to get started on something else but uh we're getting ready to get out this truck and we're gonna go into detail for some of y'all who want some detailed stuff and uh yeah make sure y'all like this video leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and let's go so i seen somebody say that i need to put this down like turn my headlights on and my flashes and do my blinkers when I do my pre-trip. And I do do that. But what I do is, let me start this up. So y'all can see the screen. Like, you know, I, whenever I do my pre-trip on camera, I just walk around and just give y'all a little, you know, just give y'all a visual. That's it. But I really be out here working for real, y'all. Can y'all see that screen? Let me brighten it up for y'all. All right. Okay, y'all should be able to see it. So on the Peterbilt, I'm not sure if the Freightliners have it all. So I just know on this one, it has it. Right here, it's a little check mark you can pull. I pull that and then I go outside on the truck. It's going to do like a little system check. It's going to do my high beams, my low beams, my left signal, my right signal, all my lights at the back all in one like i could walk around and do my pre-trip and check my lights like it's doing the uh flashes now and then once the system go through the check it'll show you if there's any critical issues hey let's get on out here hopefully the wind ain't too noisy good we got a comparison right here. This is what I mean by the reefer unit. This right here has the engine in here to keep keep it running and stay cool. This whole motor and everything in there. I'm glad this dude parked beside me because I can show y'all the dry van. So as y'all can see, this is the dry van. It don't have no reefer unit on it the tank is let me get up under here and show y'all this i'm actually doing my pre-trip as i do this if y'all can see that that's the tank it's like how much fuel it'll hold in there
this right here lets me know how much weight I got on my back axle. It's empty now, so it's not really gonna tell you anything. So we usually just pull that out and it'll tell us how much. I never let this go past 34. Usually if you go past 34, that's not good at all. So y'all say you never show the inside of the trailer. So we get ready to show the inside of the trailer. And to answer your question, why do you always put a lock on it even while it's empty? Um, that's prime rules. But also it's like, you never know what can happen. People crazy out here. They are hide inside your trailer just to catch a, few, a free ride or Somebody could just be kind of like, just be dirty and just put something, hide something in your trailer, you know, try to smuggle something. And then you be the one caught up. So this is a 53 foot trailer. Whenever the reefer unit cuts on, the air blows out in between the shoe up there. So there you go for those that was wondering. You can see my trailer is clean. And that right there tells you the level of fuel that you got. That reminds me that I need to put some fuel in here before we go drop this trailer off. Let's get ready to go.
because I can get over there and I can bobtail and not be at a closer spot. But if the load is ready, I'm gonna still go back over there and park. And then probably just leave out maybe around four in the morning or three in the morning. Cause this first stop is a hundred miles away. And then the last stop is only 30 miles away from that first stop.
cannot tell me to slide my tandem. They don't mention it i don't worry about it you check these okay these two are the prime trailers so i'm gonna go ahead and slide it maybe she just forgot to tell me So since today is Wednesday, this pay week, this is the last day for the pay week at Prime. Two, is it 2 p.m.? No, is I think it's 4 p.m. Central Time. That's the cutout time. It is currently 12, 16 p.m. Eastern Time. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and fill out my last trip sheet. I usually do these like once I finish the trip, but I just saved this one right here for last. I just really been putting this one out because 
Uh, some of them meat loads be having so many papers and we have to go through and take pictures of each one of these. Prime need to figure out a way to just, just go all digital. So, yes, I'm left-handed, as y'all can see. This is the paper up like this, but I have to turn it sideways and right like this, you know. Some of the lefties understand me. And I write real small. So we have to fill this out, take pictures of our trip sheets, our bill of lading, um, any receipts, any out-of-pocket costs, like scale ticket. Let's say you pay for the lump of feet out-of-pocket. You got to scan that receipt. Or let's say if you even bought fuel out-of-pocket, like out of your expense, you need to scan that receipt. And also, like, if you happen to get a trailer washout and you pay for it yourself, you scan that receipt, and it'll be reimbursed on your check that week. It don't matter if you lease a company, you still have to do this. Let's see how many papers we gotta take pictures of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 in the stack. This right here was a, a two-stop load. I've had to take the pictures. I think the highest number I had was like 18. Yeah, I think it was from a Walmart delivery. I forgot where I picked up from, but I delivered at Walmart and they just gave me a stack back. How many did I say, y'all? Damn, I don't feel like counting this. How many did I say? I gotta go back and watch this video. Did I say 15? Man, one, two, 14. Is that the first number I said, 14? 14, and then the trip sheet is gonna be 15. Now that we got that out of the way, I'ma staple these together. And I got this cabinet up here is where I keep all my paperwork. Like I got it in a little folder, little, you know, month the month folder. And that's where I store it at. All right, so this right here is not a trucking subject that I'm getting ready to speak on. But hopefully, what I'm getting ready to say will push somebody to do what they've been wanting to do or what they've been procrastinating about doing. I keep hearing, I keep hearing this same statement, like, this is about making content or whatever and getting paid on social media. I hear, keep hearing people saying, like, um... I don't got nothing to record. Uh, my day is not interesting or I don't got nothing to record that people will watch. Listen, y'all stop saying that. There is an audience for every single thing. Kids are millionaires just from opening toys. People make thousands and thousands of dollars just chewing on ice on YouTube. Eating the little honey things. People do ASMR just whispering in a mic and making thousands of dollars no matter what you're doing it's gonna interest somebody even on tiktok people make money on tiktok just sleeping and while they sleeping they making money and people sending them gifts and stuff so they making extra money like stop coming up with the excuses of i ain't got nothing to record or my day seems boring you can make anything interesting like everybody can get this money on social media you just gotta you gotta put the work in people always do that saying well if it was so much money in this everybody would be doing it no everybody wouldn't because everybody don't want to work for it everybody don't have the patience for the money to come it's like people it's people that been doing youtube for years and just now been able to get paid and then you have some people that are their YouTube video, like their first video will be a hit and their YouTube channel will take off within the first month. Everybody's story is not the same. Everybody's glory is not the same. If you really serious about making content and just getting the social media money, just get up and do it.
whatever it is that you want to do just get up and make an effort to doing it that's all you got to do stop worrying about who gonna watch who not gonna watch what this person got to think about you what that person this don't worry about none of that just get up and do what you got to do like for an example uh my subscribers like i read the comments like some of them preferred the 40 minute videos and the other one was like now i want the 20 minute videos like you can't you can't please everybody you just got to stick with what you're able to work work around with um what what suits you best now i will reach out and say hey what do y'all want to see and try to incorporate those things in but ultimately it's up to me what i decide to do because what i'm comfortable with what i got enough time to do so if you thinking about doing it do it whatever it is it don't even have to be social media whatever it is in life do it and then i'll be having people email me they be like do you think i'm too old to do this people be like 50 cc no do it if you want to do it you're never too old if you want to do something in life just go after it get it done at least just to say that you accomplished it but to all my subscribers that's watching my videos and you do youtube or you're thinking about doing youtube hit me up i can give you some tips and stuff hit me up in my email at slimepack392 at gmail and put in the subject um youtube tips in the subject so i know exactly what it is because i get a lot of spam emails and a lot of y'all emails get sent to spam so i may miss some of y'all's but if you have youtube tips in the subject i can easily filter it and find y'all because a lot of people think it's all about views a lot of people think it's all about subscribers subscribers does not matter once you hit the minimum requirements i think youtube lowered it to 500 subscribers it used to be a thousand and then four thousand watch time hours i'm not sure how many hours you need now to get monetized but as soon as you hit those minimum requirements subscribers doesn't matter anymore views really don't matter because anybody can click on your video and i think it's for the first 15 to 30 seconds it'll count as a view now if they ain't watching that video all the way through that view does not matter because you got ads that they didn't watch so you, you didn't get paid for that so don't let the views discourage you pay attention to your analytics your watch time hours your impressions um let me see what else like i study my analytics every day multiple times a day because it changes all day long but yeah your watch time hours and also whenever it comes to doing a description of your videos like tags and all that stuff your analytics section will help you on what to tag your video how to name your video it's gonna let you know what your subscribers are watching like for an example um let me see if y'all can see like for an example right here this is my research and my analytics this is what my people are top researching prime lease drivers long haul trucking like if i was bored and i needed to make a video i could pick one of these subjects right here and youtube would push it out right here these are the shorts most of the shorts that people are watching that's watching me um right here top searches related to lease purchase contract this right here is something that you could kind of title your video or do some research on these are some top videos that's you know just go through your analytics and that's gonna help you grow now i know tiktok facebook instagram all of those have analytics also so it's the same across all social media platforms all right so i ain't trying to be messy or nothing but if you was at this loves on what's today's date i think today is the march the 20th they oh these employees be talking mad junk about their other employees um what was that name maria if you work work here they was talking about you missing count not counting stuff it was some man he was talking junk about you he go to church and then 
whoever used shower four around 10 39 a.m oh <laughs> some lady said you left that shower a mess and you stink she said you need another shower because you stink but i ain't being messy y'all So everybody said those 19,000 points is $190. Hmm. <laughs> they don't got what I was actually wanting to get. I really wanted to get like a, a iPad and sell it <laughs> or something. All right, Slime Pad Pad Nation. This is all I got for this video. Um. It wasn't too much going on, but I still gave y'all some trucking stuff, a little bit of tips, a little bit of information for those of you that's been wanting a more informational video. I gave y'all just a little bit. Uh, maybe I start incorporating that more in my, you know, future videos, but that's all I got for today. I'm getting ready to get back here, edit this video, watch some TV, and just chill until it's time to pick up this load. So make sure y'all like this video leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed appreciate everybody for watching everybody that's liking commenting i literally read all of y'all comments even though i may not comment back i may not like hearted i read and see all of y'all comments and i appreciate you whether it's negative or positive because as long as you're interacting with the video it's positively affecting my channel so i'll see y'all on the next video